Welcome to Electrum Online. Here we're going to review torque. What's torque? Well, by definition, it's force times distance, but let's take a closer look. So let's say we have an object that is rather long, has a distance r, and let's say we apply a force to it f, and it can rotate at that point right there. So that force then produces a torque, and it's a vector quantity, and torque is defined as the product, the cross product between the distance from the point of rotation to where the force acts, times the force. So if you use your right hand rule, you point your fingers in the direction of the point where the force is acting, you curl your fingers in the direction of the force, your thumb points inward. So in this case, the torque would be into the board. Torque will always be perpendicular to the plane of the, the R vector and the force vector. Now, of course, if the force was acting upward, then you'd have your, then you have your hand like this, R, turn your fingers in the direction of F, and now the torque would act out of the board. So that's how you look at torque as a vector quantity. Of course, if the force acts at an angle, Again, you have torque equals R cross F, but because of the angle, you then have a different value. Now, if you want to know what that is equal to, it would be equal to the magnitude of the distance from the point of rotation to where the force is acting, times the magnitude of the force, times the sine of, sine of the angle between the direction of the R vector and the direction of the force vector. Or, you can simply take the angle between the perpendicular and where the force acts, and the torque can be equal to R times F times the cosine of theta. Sometimes we just want to know the magnitude of the torque, and so that becomes simply the product of the force times, and by definition, the perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force to the point of rotation. So here's the line of action of the force, there's the perpendicular distance from the point of rotation to the line of action of the force, so it's simply F times D in this case. And when the force acts at an angle, let's say the angle theta with respect to the perpendicular, then the torque equals force times the perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force to the pivot point. That would be this distance right here. So this here would be d perpendicular, and that would still be equal to the force times the distance times the cosine of the angle theta, so we get the same result as we have over there. So that is how we deal with torque, the definition of torque, realizing it's a vector, but sometimes we only care about the magnitude. Now, one more thing, if the torque acts in a counterclockwise direction, it's considered a positive torque, which means the torque comes out of the board. If we have a torque going in the clockwise direction, that's a negative torque, like we have over here, and the torque is into the board. That's that's what the negative and positive sign mean. Simply, is it out of the board or in the board? And it depends upon the direction of the torque. Is it counterclockwise, positive, clockwise, negative? And that is how it's done.